sorry. Hello, Mrs. I'm here, and of course my cat is doing things all of a sudden now. Every time I film, but it is what it is. Tiger, what are you doing? Stop. Stop. Stop it. No. You want some treats? I get that. I'll give you some treats later. Hold on. Oh boy, hang on. Tiger and his little treats. There you go. Fetch. Yeah. Anything to get you out my hair for a while. I got to talk to the peoples real quick, okay? Huh. Whee! Have fun. Boy, so if you're viewing this video and the title is No Mistake, I know you're looking for an explanation, and here it is. A few years ago, I say about maybe two, three years ago, I was eating some blackberries, blackberries and blueberries. And that same day I was eating these blackberries, I went to the bathroom and I did a number two, which means I had a bowel movement, okay? I noticed something odd, but in a good way. I noticed literally, now this video is going to be TMI, so if you don't want to hear about bowel movements and bodily fun functions, you might as well exit this now and don't eat, don't walk, view this while you're eating, okay? Or your stomach is weak. So, I basically uh defecated and I noticed that I didn't smell anything. Like, there was no smell at all. Like, no smell at all. So, when I wipe my ass, I did something that I normally don't do, and this might go somebody out, but because I didn't smell anything, I took a, uh, smell a tissue, and it was literally no freaking smell. I kid you not, it was, it freaked me out, but it was like a good thing, right? So, I got so freaked out and excited at the same time. I called my husband. I said, look. He was like, oh, get that away from me. I said, no, for real. It's, it's no scent to it. Smell it. He was like, hell, yeah, no. I said, no, for real. There's no scent to it at all. It, like, freaked me the fuck out. So, he smelled it. He was like, there's no smell. So... We looked it up on Google and come and find out blackberries is very, very high in antioxidants to the point your poop literally won't stink. And it helps um, fight certain cancers. If you got a video, ladies, especially ladies, If eating blackberries now, this is what the blackberries look like on the picture. I put some blueberries on here because we got some blueberries too. We got to do some shot right. Mm. But these blackberries are so good. They look exactly like that in the picture. I don't know if you see that. I'm using my back camera. Um. Yeah, they look like that and they taste very tangy and stuff. I'm telling you, ladies, if you a little bit subconscious about smells down there, ain't you some blackberries or blueberries. Blueberries does the same thing. 
Eat you some blueberries or blackberries. I'm telling you, you ain't going to have no scent when you go to the bathroom. Your poop won't stink. And I believe it knocks out underarm odors too. Or any type of body odors you have. But yeah, that freaked me out. But in a good way. Make me do a little bit more research on blackberries. Okay. There it is. So, thought I'd share that little story with you guys. I bet to do a video about this a while, long, 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 while ago. But if it gross you out, I'm sorry. But I just have to share this information. Get you some blueberries, blackberries. If you got any colds, if you got any colds, I'm telling you, this is very high antioxidant. This is like the top of the list of fruits or high in antioxidants that would knock that stuff out your system. I'm telling you, I ain't no doctor. But if you want to go the natural route, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's what researchers say. And hey, people that experienced it know it. But yeah, it's a really good. Give it a try. You know, ain't nothing to it but to do. If you don't believe me, you can always do an experiment. Get you some. Blackberries or blueberries. And next time you go to the toilet, you don't know what I'm talking about. But it's better to do it when, um, also, I don't eat a lot of red meat. I might eat red meat maybe a certain time during a month. Maybe like three or four times a month, I'll eat red meat. I usually stick to chicken or fish. Kind of like a vegetarian style um diet so i usually stick to chicken and fish chicken and fish i don't eat pork at all so that could be a contributor too i don't eat pork at all i even a few years ago i was um i stopped eating pork and i was just eating like mostly chicken and fish so that could also be a contributor too but try to eat some blackberries try not to eat no red meat no pork or nothing for like the whole day and watch when you have your next bowel movement you won't know what i'm talking about it's gonna freak you out i'm telling you it's gonna freak you out but anyway let me get off to here just thought i'd share that with you guys real quick i hope i didn't gross you out too much okay see you later bye get over here tiger get away from me that dog ain't bothering you this dog outside on the um, fire escape Thank <laughs> you.